Swedish car maker Volvo hasn't had the easiest time of late. In the recent past, it was sold to Chinese car maker Geely, and as a result, its product lines got stretched and stretched. The old XC90 was on sale forever in India, but now, finally, we have this new car, the all new XC90. Now, it's based on the new scalable platform architecture. It comes with a raft of new safety systems and it comes with a new generation twin turbo diesel engine. But we've got the car finally on our roads and we're going to drive it here and see what it's like in our conditions. Of course, it's a Volvo, so you get that unmistakable big Volvo grille up front with the diagonal and the large logo. But you also get another Swedish touch. This headlight has what they like to call Thor's hammer, this T here. And it looks quite interesting to be fair. But the rest of the car is fresh, new, with clean lines, crisp detailing, and nothing extra. So it looks really pure, pretty impressive. You also get these 20 inch alloy wheels, which offset the bulk of the SUV quite neatly. And new tail lamps, which are now shaped like an inverted question mark. Step inside and you see the judicious use of unveneered wood and leather. And the layered dashboard now looks super impressive, especially the manner in which the materials cascade down from the top to the bottom. The iPad-like infotainment system with its large 9-inch touchpad has clear fonts and sharp graphics, making it easy to use. And like a smartphone, there's a swipe and pinch function which works really well. Some items like the blower control do need you to take your eyes off the road for a bit longer and that's not so nice, but otherwise you get used to the system and the functionality pretty quick. The luxury feel is further enhanced by the 19 speaker Bowers & Wilkins sound system that provides incredibly detailed and clear sound. It's one of the best you've experienced in a car so far and it's really, really concert hall level. Visibility all around is simply brilliant and the cabin feels large, airy, especially with the big panoramic sunroof. Now, Volvo are famous for making some of the best seats in the business. They've worked with orthopedic surgeons for years and they somehow seem to have a knack of giving you just the right amount of back support. And these new seats are no different. Okay, maybe there's a bit less thigh support and you're sitting slightly low, but there's plenty of legroom and the seat is really comfortable even over a day long drive. And probably because they are slimmer in construction, the seats are a bit hard and not sinfully plush like some of the competition. Volvo's commitment to safety, however, is reaffirmed with a number of safety systems available, including a curtain airbag even for the third row. And there's a new one too called runoff road protection. There's also a new safety system, of course, this is a Volvo in these seats. There's a spring at the bottom here that protects your back in case of a compression. Of course, a compression to your back happens when the car leaves the road and goes slam onto another surface. Yet another interesting and innovative safety system from Volvo. Walk up to the XC90 and you think it's a big, blundering SUV. But that's not the impression you get from behind the wheel. It's nice and light to drive, it's easy to steer and point, and the engine is really responsive. So one tap on the accelerator is all it takes to take you forward. The D5 variant we drove has Volvo's new twin-turbo 2-liter diesel motor producing 222 bhp. This new twin-turbo engine works really well, especially as far as responsiveness is concerned. And there's a nice, almost petrol-like thrum when you pull it hard. You can choose between four driving modes, of which Eco and Comfort are more suited to relaxed driving. Of course, for our roads, the correct suspension setting is Comfort. And here, the air springs are made a little more supple and given a little more give. So when you ride over those really big bumps, there is plenty of cushioning. There's a nice suppleness to it when you go over even some of the larger stuff. But even then, you do feel a little bit of the stiffness. And the new XC90 also has a new 8-speed gearbox, which for the most part works really well. There's plenty of ratios to choose from, and it's pretty quick in giving you the right ratio. The only problem is when you want a quick downshift. Then there's a bit of a pause, it takes its own time, and it doesn't feel as quick 
as ZF's 8-speed gearbox as seen on other cars like the BMW. Now while the XC90 is nice and light to drive, it isn't the sportiest SUV around. Yes, there is plenty of agility and there is some amount of feel and feedback, but it's not like an X5 and certainly not like something like a Cayenne. So if you want your SUV to be sharp as a tack, well, this one isn't exactly it. And as for the hit on your wallet, the top spec inscription trim, the one we're driving, is competitively priced at 77.9 lakhs. Volvo's new XC90 is a fresh new take on the seven-seater luxury SUV. It's brilliantly engineered to be both efficient and very luxurious. It's light to drive. The new twin-turbo four-cylinder engine is really responsive. It steers beautifully. It's comfortable to sit. It's got a modern interior. It takes the SUV game a big step ahead. All right, it's not the greatest car off-road and it doesn't drive like a Cayenne or an X5. It doesn't have the sort of involvement or the fun from behind the wheel. But if you're looking for a modern luxury SUV and you're in the market for something special, we think we should check this car out.